both last year on offense and not having Todd for four games and then uh, it's only being out. Bobo seems to you know keep this offense humming uh, and obviously you play a part in that. But uh, how, how do you guys do that? It's just a matter of having a lot of good second teamers. Or, or, or yeah, I think it, it's really just the importance of recruiting, having depth. I think um, just when you know you think you're not going to play, your your opportunity comes and it just shows that you got to be ready. Um, like I said, I think it just shows the importance of depth and recruiting uh, to be able to bring in more than just one really good guy at each position, especially that running back position. So, um, you know, there's, I think there's a lot of different um, uh, variables that kind of relate to it or, you know, Coach Bobo being a great coach and, and having good players too. How, do, how does he particularly uh, deal with uh, the, the moving pieces that, that come with, uh, with, with some of the, the stuff that he's had to deal with the last couple of years? Well, he seems to, to really have been able to move on from it pretty well. Um, you know, he, he's never really a guy that you see dwelling on it or kind of still talking about it a few weeks later. I mean, uh, you know, here we are. Um, lost one of the best players in Georgia football history and a big key and component to our offense this year. But, you know, he doesn't seem like, woe was me or feeling sorry for himself. So, um, you know, it's important to kind of convey that message to your team too. What's the so what, will it, what will it be like watching Deuce? Well, we'll definitely be pulling for him. I think, uh, you know, we'll uh, be pulling for the balls, obviously. Uh, so that's Did all I hear I, right that you grew up with some Tennessee fans in town? My uncle graduated from UT Dental School, so. So was that where your family balls fans were now? Oh, well, my, I mean, my family. Uh, my grandma lives in Tennessee, and my uncle went to UT Dental School, so it was kind of a little bit of a split family. Um, so, uh, you know, just. But they're all Vols fans this week. Or Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all Vol fans this week. Rick just showed us a few minutes ago that he does not have orange pajamas. I don't know how it came up, but what orange things do you own in the house? Do you have a set of orange pajamas anywhere? Uh, I don't. I can find some, though, if, if Tennessee <laughs> will win Saturday night. <laughs> So is he your dentist, your uncle? He is. So you get, you've had that free your whole life? <laughs> uh, I don't know. That may be an NCAA violation, so I can't answer that. No, pre-existing, <laughs> pre-existing <laughs> relationship. You're good. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Are you glad the game is at night so it's not at the same time you're playing on Maybe you try to scoreboard watch or something? Yeah, uh, you, you're talking about this game this week? Yeah, I think it's, uh, it is nice. Um, you like to be able to watch those games. I know after the game I was – trying to figure out the score and, and stuff, and it's kind of annoying trying to catch it on a phone or something like that. But So it'll be nice to sit down and actually watch the game. How do you see those guys teams matching up when you play both? What you say? How do you see those two teams matching up if you play both? Well, I know Tennessee has one of their best defensive players out uh, that I saw for the game. Uh, so obviously I don't know the dynamics of their team, but you know, anytime you lose your best player on defense, one of their best players, leading tackler, I think, uh, that 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 probably hurts. So um, it'll be interesting to see. I think Tennessee's playing their best football this year, um, and, that, and that quarterback seems like they he's really kind of giving an extra spark to their offense, and um, he's he's fun to watch too. So I think it'll be a really good matchup, and that's a tough place to play at night.